Hello and welcome to this demonstration of some of the features of Extra 4 version 2. Today I'm using version 2.2 which is released in January 2012. So I'm just going to show you uh, initially how we set up Extra 4 and that's by going into the configuration menu and I'm going to select basic options. This is where we tell Extra 4 which language we require, the currency options, and where we tell it which printer we're going to use, and we can set up up to six printers plus an address printer. We can also decide uh, in the internal database the size of the picture that will be used for the thumbnail. We can set here field names we can make changes to the legends here for them. We can set advanced item management field names if you have that option. The length of reminder for the backup. And if we have the network version where the network database is stored. We can also, if we have an external database plugin, decide which of the database types we're using for that. Once you've complete, completed basic configuration, then you can add a label layout to these buttons on the left, which is where we select them when in use. So I have one in, already installed, but I'm just going to show you another one. You choose the printer firstly, and then the type of label from these tabs that you have installed in the printer. So I'm going to say that I've got the UK combination label here. Um, I can now see the layouts. If I make that a bit bigger, it's quite useful. So I could select any of the layouts that I require here. Um, and I'll perhaps go for this one today and say next. Then I see it in greater detail. Um, and I get a description of all the fields on the label here in the top right hand corner and it will show me the pro the size of the font that will be used and so I can get a rough idea of what the label will look like when it's printed. I'm then asked for a layout name so you can use something that will be useful to you and you can select which button it will be applied to then you can install the selected layout once you've installed the layout, it's then available for use. For this demonstration, I'm actually going to use the foot one I already had installed. And I'm going to put some details of an item in there. You can see that there's already some details filled in, and these are found from the label options default values. Should you not should you want to put some some item of text in that will be on every label, then that's where you can do it. Also you might like to put instructions in there for your staff so that they know what to put in each particular field on the label. So this could be supply ref here. So I'll say OK to that and then if I reset the data it shows me what I should be putting in that field. So away I go. I'm going to add, uh, that's my going to be my item number I'm then going to put in a supply reference in there and I'm going to put in a description of the item and how much it's going to be. I can then decide how many of those labels I want to print and print them. Also in this version I can now save the label so if I click save label I get the save label form where I can select an item group to put it into two three two oh is pendant nine karat gold which is what that one is had I have not already decided on an item number by typing it into the barcode field then I would have been able to take the next item in this group 2320 and by clicking on the now grayed out create item number button 
I would have been given the next item number within that group. Okay, so I've got some more text here which has been filled in automatically from the uh, label layout which I'm going to remove and that's all I want to store there. So here I can also add uh, some description because in the memo field I can write as much as I like um, and I can also add a picture of the item by simply right clicking in the field choosing the item there we go from my pictures folder save the label and the label was stored okay so now when I move into file and item management I can now see this item I can double click on it away we go and it's available there also if I click on the print icon there it will give me the label again the preview of the label and I can then print it equally I can filter so my item list if I select a group here let's say that one and then click on the filter I'll then only see the items in that group which can be very useful when I want to do a batch print so if I move to the batch print tab you'll see that I can print labels that are with all layouts or labels that are just with the particular label that I've got in the printer which is obviously quite useful and then I can start batch printing and I can reset optionally the quantity back to zero uh, when I've printed the label or I can leave it as it is so if I go back to item list I can then unapply the filter and see all of the items so that's just a brief overview of some of the features in Extra 4 version 2 in its basic form. If you've got any questions, then please do give us a call. Our hotline number is 01553 780 or you can send email to us, sales at extra4.co.uk. Don't forget our website, www.extra4.co.uk. We hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and look forward to hearing from you soon. Goodbye.